Hello everyone. Hi YouTube family. My name is Kiki. I'm here again, Prima Donna Diva. I want to do a short tutorial on how I detangle my blown out natural hair. Um, I'm starting with uh, obviously dry hair. Um, at night what I do is I usually braid and it's four braids. Not even for each braid. It's just four big um, plaits. Two in the front, two in the back. Sorry if I'm looking. I'm actually recording this at work. And I'm making sure that um, my customers are coming in while I'm recording. Um, anyway, so I usually for, uh, you know, I'll do four braids, plaits, um, two up front, two in the back. I'll take it down. I'll do that overnight. And I'll take it down in the morning. And that's usually the look that I have. Uh, most of my curls have fallen out. So, uh, but it'll produce a nice little wave. Um, I'm not sure if you can see any of the definition. It's pretty much not as defined anywhere. Um, but since it's not defined, I decided to just rock it in a complete afro. And what I noticed is that even though my hair is blown out, it still shrinks sometimes, especially by me having it on my shoulder. So a lot of times the hair will actually puff back up. And I don't like it because sometimes it can get tangled and, you know, um, it also it doesn't show the full length of the hair. So right now I'm just going to do this tutorial and show you how I briefly and quickly um, stretch out my hair more and also you know get it some more fluffier look so let me do my before before and I will show you the after okay anyway I first start by taking the hair let me do a before shot real quick let's see if I can take a picture before let me take a picture no all right forget it but <laughs> I'll, I'll link a picture in the description anyway detangling of course first method is to start from the ends to roots and work your way up so here it goes ends to roots work my way up right and voila and because I already detangle my hair at night every night before I go to bed the combing isn't that bad I just look at the difference it's way more puffier more full of life my hair in the middle and I take the next section that I have at home is and I just gently comb them up. That's what you do. And this is how you avoid breakage. I'm also like slightly tugging the hair, stretching it, and getting a good comb. I'm gonna turn around so you can see. Well, I don't know why. And that's how I do that. At the end, um, once I'm done detangling, I want to show you my comb. But as you can see, you can already see the difference. One side is more blown out, it's stretched. It even looks more elongated and longer. This side has shrunken. There's a good hmm, two inch difference. So the hair is here, and before I comb it, you can see that it's here. After I comb it, it's here. So that's a definite big difference in the hair. So that's why I love doing this method. I want to do the same on the other side. Oh, so I have a little satisfied custer. I'm going to comb, work my way up into roots. Very gentle. Like I said, my hair is not that nappy right now because I already detangled. I always detangle every night. Oh, I try to, not always, but I definitely do. And comb it through. And this is going to make the hair look stretched. See? Next final section. I'm going to take this section here in the back that I haven't touched and finally do it. Stretch your hair out, ends to roots, work my way up. And how I put a comb in my head, this is how I comb my hair all the time. If I don't do it this way, I'm angry and I really shouldn't even be doing my hair, seriously. <laughs> so, <clears throat> It's boring, I don't have no music, so I'ma make some, mm, mm, mm. Ooh, boy, you're looking like you like what you see. Won't you come over and check up on it? I'ma let you in. Please let them check up on it. Watch it, why you check up on it? Check on me if you got it. Flaunt it, boy, I know you want it. What else? Watch you check it. Ooh, you watch me shake it. <laughs> anyway, so now that I have blown the hair out, I'm going to show you some of the shit here. 
hopefully my camera can zoom in so this is some of the hair that came out but it's not breakage because the strands are long and let me show you how you know that's more normally how you can tell if you uh, broke out your hair is the breakage or 